what I walked into. This is the new change room, the new wall. Now I gotta try and figure out where I'm going to put this stuff, because this stuff used to be hanging on the back of this gate. I had a grid wall hanging here, so I hung everything up. So now I gotta figure that out. I'm starting to push this stuff over. I pushed that over a little bit to try and give me some space. Um, yeah, disasters. <laughs> this desk was in that corner. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna put it here, but I have to move this stuff every night. I have to pull all of this stuff in. Let me get you out a little bit more. There. All of this stuff has to be pulled in so I can get the gates closed. This table has to be pulled in. Um, so it's, you know, it's a bit of a setup, but, and, uh, but I think it, it's going to work. Um, this is the only place I can put the mirror, which is okay because then it, it protects the feet, protects people from tripping over the feet of the gate. And I put my mannequins there so that, you know, it'll be okay. This side... I'm trying to figure out how to mount something on here. I don't know. I might be able to mount the grid wall on the on there. But, uh, yeah. Because this is going to be the permanent fixture. <clears throat> and if I do that, then I can just take the racks that I had over there and I could just hang them on here again and then just pull them, bring them in at night like I've been doing. So that would be the smartest option, but then I have to get, <laughs> I have to get somebody to mount these. So yeah. So this is happening outside of work. Wow, look at all these gorgeous cars. Like, oh my gosh. Amazing. They are going to be having this every Wednesday for the summertime. Like, oh wow. This is like a guy's dream right here. Now I'm on my way home. Actually, no, I'm not. I lied. I have to go to my sister's and I have to go and cut her hair and then I can go home. <laughs> wow, look at these, you guys. Hang on, let me turn it. Look at this. How cool is this? Wow. There's my car right there. Right there. Camaro. Yahoo. Hi, Arnabies. So, today's not going so well. <laughs> uh, Bailey and I, I've got, I'm in George's van. George has my car because we have a rad leak and um, I have had to get it fixed, so has my car and so Bailey and I were on our way to the shop I get to the shop and realize he has my shop keys on my keychain he had a spare key but it's not on the keys that I have so I'm on my way home all the way home so I guess I'm going to today and maybe edit this video <laughs> I wasn't feeling very good today anyway I don't know I'm really tired I, I'm going through an energy crash or something and uh, I have no idea why I'm irritable 
looking forward to going in because um, the day our dog walker, he comes around and takes her out a couple times a day and she gets treats and she gets, you know, lots of love from customers. And so she really enjoys going. So she's going to be kind of disappointed when she figures out that we're almost home. <laughs> waiting to find out you know when that was because her and I we were gonna you know get the yarn together and so um, I chatted with her and I figured like everything kind of went to crap yesterday um, the space that I wanted to use for my uh, expansion I figured that Angela probably wouldn't be ready until about November-ish, you know, to open up her shop. So, and that might still happen, who knows. But, um, so the owners of the building came by yesterday and, or day before yesterday, and were asking me, you know, so, you know, how is the, you know, yarn situation and all that. And I says, well, I said, I don't think it's going to happen till around November. And so they were like, oh, okay. And then yesterday I came into work and I saw a for rent sign on the shop that I was going to expand in. <clears throat> they have people coming in to look at the spaces to rent. So I understand from a business point of view that they can't have the shop just sitting there without any revenue. But they could have at least talked to me about it and told me what their plans were. Because Miles, the guy across, the, across from me that has the crystals, he's renting that space right now. And he told me that he was going to hold on to it until I was ready to move in. So... I guess that didn't happen. Um, so I had to pivot pretty quickly. So I, the way I see it is the higher powers have their, 
a reason for it. There's a reason for it, and I'm not going to be broken up about it. Um, it just is what it is, and I won't be pressured into renting a space, a second space, before I can afford it, um, or before I have a chance to get anything in. So, they can go and rent it, whatever, you know. Hi Yarnabees, how are you today? Holy crap, look how gray I am. Oh my good lord. <sighs> Quite the color contrast, isn't it? <sighs> Gotta do something about that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am so tired. Oh, it has been a week. It has been a week. Um, I was hoping to be able to show you a few things that I had made, but... They sold. <laughs> so, I have been making, I'll, I'll put up a picture here. <clears throat> I've been making emotional support pickles. I have not been able to keep them in stock. I, as soon as I make one, it sells. Uh, I sold three of them today. So yeah, it's, it's crazy. Who knew that that was going to be a thing? I sure didn't. <clears throat> um, I knew this pickle Rick or pick whatever. I heard something about that um, and that people are making pickles. <laughs> but we get mostly seniors and tourists here. And I didn't honestly wasn't sure. Uh, I just thought I'd make a couple and see how they went. And they went. <laughs> I haven't had time to do anything else, really. I, I've made... Um, I made another seal and I've made, I started making another turtle, but I haven't had a chance to get it done. Um, I made 20 fuzzy, um, scrunchies today at work. Uh, the ones with the faux fur. So I made those. Um, what else? Good grief. I don't even know. I am so tired, you guys. Um, George and I <clears throat> had to go to Vancouver to go and see George's mom. Did I put a video clip in there? I don't think I did. I don't know. Uh, we had to go because George's mom is very ill. Um, we're not sure if this was the last time we were going to see her or not. So 
we went uh, to visit and <clears throat> George prepared himself. Um, he did, he's never seen his mom as sick as she is. So that was hard on him. Um, and then after that, we went and saw my pickle, which is my grandbaby. Uh, I nicknamed him pickle from the day he was born. I don't know why it just kind of stuck. And that's why I started making pickles. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, uh, I had a great visit with him for as much as I got to see him. Uh, this was all about grandpa weekend, apparently, because <laughs> he was all over George. Um, he wanted, he didn't want to sit with grandma. He didn't want, he was like, no, nope, give me grandpa. And he used grandpa as a trampoline and they had a great time. Um, I'll put a little video clip in here. <laughs> she likes jumping. Ah, spitting up everywhere. <laughs> See, I'm gonna try to spit all that me. Spit. Wow. <laughs> Bouncing baby boy. <laughs> Bouncing baby boy. Hi, <laughs> right, Grandma. Hi. So, as you can see, Grandma was a second thought, <laughs> which is fantastic. I am so happy because George really needed that. After seeing his mom, um, he was pretty depressed about it. And so Axel really helped um, George's mental state at that point. Um, I've never seen George with little kids like that. So it was a joy to see. He had so much fun. He was laughing and Axel was laughing and it was a great time. So I was, I was over the moon happy about that. Uh, although I didn't get to get quite as much time with my grandbaby as I wanted, but that's okay because I, you know, I really wanted George to be able to be a part of Axel's life. So it all worked out for the best and uh, I was really happy about it. So um, what else did I have I done? Oh, I've, oh, you guys, I put in my first Timu order and it, it came today, sort of. Um, they, I was at work and they delivered it to the house. But I didn't know that DHL doesn't drop the deliveries at the door. They, if you're not home, um, they take it with them and they try again the next day. So I phoned them and I bitched at them and I said, how come every other delivery service just drops it at the door and you guys don't? I should be thankful that they did that, you know, so it doesn't get stolen. But. Um, I told him, I said, you know, I work all day. I, I'm not home. So how do I get my package? And they says, well, you can opt out of having it, um, taken, you know, that you can have them, you have to authorize them to drop it off at your door. Uh, I guess that, cause that gives them, it gives them an out if it gets stolen or whatever, but um, so I opted out for it and I told them to leave it on the porch instead of at the door. Uh, and George will just keep checking the house. It, it should be able to, it should, I should get a message that says it's been dropped off. And then hopefully if George is around, then he can just come home and put it in the house. 
So I was hoping to be able to show that to you now, but I guess I'm going to have to do that in a separate video. So, but that's okay. I've been telling everybody that I've got this stuff coming and, <laughs> and it didn't go. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I start, I, I sort of finished a project that I had going. Um, you remember how I was talking about doing that one sleeve, you know, the sleeve thing, uh, that just, whoops, just covers your arms and I finished it, but I put it on and it looked pretty dumb on me. I don't know how people wear these things. So I decided to continue, excuse me, continue on with it and make it a sweater. I've never made a sweater this way before. I haven't finished it, but. This is the pattern. This is the pattern that I, I did um, on that one sweater. Uh, I was going to do a tutorial on, on this, but I just haven't had time, you guys. Um, so th it was supposed to go like this, right? It was going to be a three-quarter sleeve, but it just came across here. And it just looked really dumb. I was just like, seriously? It makes no sense. So I continued on. And what I'm going to do is I did um, one stitch was granny stitch. One stitch was V stitch. One stitch is granny stitch. One stitch is V stitch. And I'm going all the way across. And it's actually, it's going to um, build it out a little bit so that it's not going to be so tight on me. It's actually going to kind of come out that way. Um, I'm hoping. There's hoping. So I'm just going to continue on with it because I'll show you. It just it looks ridiculous. If I can get it on now. So you put your arms in here. You put it over your head. You know, and when you got boobs like I do, it's like it doesn't. It's not even see oh so it it was supposed to go right across like that and then you just got your sleeves and that's that but it just looks ridiculous it really does so I'm just going to continue on and just have it come down and like I'm just all boob right like it's it's like oh my god like I don't even fit into my bra properly hello so it's gonna it's I'm gonna go all the way around and keep going and just have it come out and then it's just a three-quarter sleeve I've never made a sweater with doing the arms first and then you know so this should be interesting I gotta try and get it off it's nice and comfy though it's light um, and who knows maybe if this all works out maybe I'll make some more Put them in my shop or something. <clears throat> Having said that, um, I was watching a video. I forget who it was. It was, uh, oh, I do know who it was. Um, oh, what the heck's her name? Saucy. Ooh, crap. I'll put it here. She's a Canadian channel. She makes, she's a professional amigurumi plushy uh, person. You know, the ones that you see on Instagram and TikTok and all that. <clears throat> um, so she's Canadian. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's cool. So I subscribed to her channel and um, she was talking about, I believe it was her, she was talking <clears throat> excuse me, talking about this shipping company that it ships all over the place, but I've never heard of it. And, um, it's called click ship, I believe. Apparently they are, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Oh man. I tell you my allergies. Oh, um, sorry, George is trying to call me. Um, they cut the shipping costs hugely 
and they work with Etsy and all the other uh, e-commerce. They also work with all the um, different delivery services. So I actually got a physical phone call, like an actual phone call this morning while I was driving to work and the gentleman was talking to me about the company and very nice guy. Uh, and I was, I said, thank you so much for calling me. I says, it's, it's rare that you actually get somebody on the phone anymore. And he says, we're all about customer service. And I said, well, that's nice. So he's going to actually, we're, I'm going to talk to him on Monday and we're going to have like a 15 minute uh, call and he's going to walk me through the program and how to make a delivery, how to receive a delivery, how to enter everything. So having said that, um, like I, like I was, I was saying to you guys in another video, I haven't done any giveaways. I haven't done any, um, surprise gifts to anybody. I haven't done like, I haven't done any of that because the shipping costs have been outrageous. Um, so I'm going to sign up with this company and I'm going to try it out. If it's fantastic and <laughs> I'm not paying stupid amounts <clears throat> of money, uh, I'm going to start doing giveaways again. And, I may, and I'll start doing um, mystery boxes again and stuff like that because uh, the shipping won't be as bad. <clears throat> um, it's going to be really helpful too when I start getting in yarn and like if Angela from My Precious Yarnery, if she's going to be doing yarn for me, I'll be able to have it shipped in with this company and it won't cost as much. So that makes me very happy. And it also, they also will do shipping like that I receive, right? So if I call up one of my one of my friends, my Yarnaby friends, and ask them to go to Hobby Lobby for me. <laughs> I will be able to get um, ClickShip to actually go to their house and pick up the package and um, have it shipped to me. And it will cost way less. So that thrills me to bits. So yeah, so if I can get my crap together, <laughs> I will start doing that again. <clears throat> um, yeah, because I just, I, I, I feel so bad, you guys. I, I've been so busy with the shop and I just feel like I haven't been able to do anything for my channel. And I just, I feel horrible, you know, um, it's, it, I mean, I'm going to have to start doing, um, stock for the winter for my shop. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Um, I may change things up a little bit and do some stuff on Mondays. Uh, but Mondays are going to be my house cleaning days because that's the only day I'm going to have to do all of my stuff. So, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to try and figure something out. Okay. Oh, I guess George is home. So I guess I will talk to you guys later. Okay. I love you all. Bye.